I keep saying this is going to be one of the last sunny days of the year, and yet we keep having sunny days. But who am I to complain? Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking, and I fully intend to completely and entirely enjoy Boulevard Brewing Company's limited release Vietnamese coffee inspired Imperial Porter. This is a porter with coffee, chicory, cinnamon, and lactose sugar aged in brandy barrels. It is a 12% ABV, which is a bit of a mule, as in it's a kicker. Sorry, deciding layout. You can't see any of that, I don't think. Ooh, oh, that smells good. Uh, so I had to look up a few things in preparation for this. First off, Vietnamese coffee. Vietnamese coffee is a traditional Vietnamese coffee drink involving uh, coffee and um, evaporated milk, condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk. And apparently it's a relatively large quantity of condensed milk that goes into the into the coffee and so it's a uh, relatively sweet thick luxurious luscious kind of drink chicory is probably most commonly known as a coffee alternative because it gets roasty dark flavors like coffee when roasted and it has a um it has a, a bitter character kind of like coffee uh, in general, I understand it doesn't hit too close, but if you want a strong, dark drink without the caffeine, yeah, you can get a strong, dark drink out of chicory. Um, in particular, the flavors of roasted chicory should be earthy, woody, and perhaps a bit of anise or black licorice and possibly maybe even a hint of peppermint as well. I'm expecting mostly the anise to be playing character in this um, and possibly woody roasty things but that's just an assumption based on the things that come to my mind when that label uh, when I read that label cinnamon also and then aged in brandy barrels oh and lactose sugar we went over lactose sugar in the um, was that the Yeti no that wasn't the Yeti that was the um, the left hand double milk stout oh sorry neighbors are telling stories um, uh, lactose sugar so lactose sugar is a form of sugar that yeast cannot process so it remains in the beer through the brewing process and then and contributes to sweetness right so this being an imperial this is a double imperial and double mean essentially the same thing it's a higher alcohol volume and so I'm expecting this to be quite sweet. It'll be interesting. It will be interesting to see how its sweetness compares to that of the left hand brewing, which I found to be just, just sweet. This poured far thicker, like it, it feels viscous, and you can see possibly on the glass that it it stays, like it has legs. It is staying on, up on the glass as I as I pull it down. Um, and finally, brandy barrels. I like brandy. I don't have too many brandies, um, but uh, I really enjoyed um, an Armagnac, which is a brandy from the Armagnac region of France, the Ajolite, uh VS, I think it was. Um, that was quite a delicious uh, uh, liquor. Enjoyed it quite a lot. And so I'm expecting possibly some apple and uh, maybe just a general booziness to this, uh, which may or may not also be entirely due to the 12% ABV. Hmm. The apple is definitely there. It smells like a, like a hint of a very nice apple cider. On top of a, there is a, a molasses-like character, but it, it feels darker, more woody. Maybe that's the chicory. But the sweetness is, is like a dark, strong molasses. Kind of grandma's molasses. Not blackstrap, not, not super high iron, but the grandma's molasses. Um, which has those super dark characteristics and then deep down has this really intense vein of just sweet. 
in its in its smell. Hmm, almost a bit of campfire too. I think that might be the um, the combination of the roasty uh, characters plus the sharpness of the molasses, if I were to guess. Um, there is precious little head on this to speak of. It is very pretty though. It's black, like thick black. So a porter, just to refresh, um, a porter beer was invented in London and generally they were a darker, stronger, more toothsome beer that was drunk by the people who ported goods around town. So carrying large bundles around on your back all day, that was your job, long days, and you would want something hearty and rejuvenating in the pub, maybe between your pole, your, 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 your portages. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it was a, a super strong dark beer. And then eventually that was further developed into the stout porter, which is the stout we see today. So in general, you will find the porters being a little bit stronger than brown ales, ambers, well, a little bit, a lot bit stronger than brown ales, ambers, um, the kind of beer that was more common in that era and place, and less strong than or not so strong as the stouts. Uh, they're kind of, you know, flexible definitions. And just by looking at it, this porter is thicker and heavier than a lot of stouts I have had. So, yeah, <laughs> flexible lines. Uh, let's, uh, let's drink it now, I guess. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. It's very sweet, but. And there, that in that but lies all the difference, right? So with the, with other Imperial Stouts or Imperial Porters I've had in the past, which shall not be named, that were just sweet and it was hard to find the other things that were involved in it that gave the variety and the difference and the journey to the flavor. This has all sorts of different things going on and there's layers and there's a journey and so it's intensely sweet, but, right? Wow. So it drinks like a syrup. This is really thick, really viscous. Um, there's an intense sweetness that is all around my tongue, like sides and then right down the middle too. It's, it's just firing on all cylinders. There's also a, a dark chocolate, almost approaching a carob, which is kind of an earthy, woody uh, chocolate alternative that I grew up eating from time to time and I was never a fan of. Um, but in this case, it's um, like a super dark chocolate with kind of this earthy woodiness to it that that just gives it a lot more variety and, and allows it to stand up to that uh, super sweet, uh, the, the intense sweetness that's going on. So those are the first two things, and they're, they're kind of there from the outset. Yeah. Um, with that sweetness, there's there's a sugar sweetness, but there's also a hint of like an apple juice, but it's intensified from the brandy I'm, I'm or the, the brandy barrels I'm supposing. Um, so that kind of apple character, but it's 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 like it's um, sharp, like like a liquor. Uh, it's it's intense, and that's also a good thing because it'd be entirely lost if it didn't have that intensity. As the sweetness comes and then fades, um, the cinnamon picks up and leaves you with this really nice warmth. It is surprisingly not boozy. Like, um, it's, there's definitely alcohol here, but it's not, uh, it, it, it doesn't come across as like a super boozy beer. Um, you know, you know you're drinking at 12%. It's just, it's been balanced very nicely, very nicely.
Hmm. Yeah. So you have that that sweetness, but you have this earthiness. You have this kind of chocolate character. You have the cinnamon. You have the woodiness, um, and that kind of apple brandy kind of hint as well. Um, this is just fire on all cylinders, and it's really, really good. I have never had Vietnamese coffee, so I do not know where in that flavor profile this meets up. I'm guessing if you take a real strong drip coffee or a really nice espresso that has that hint of sweetness and you mix it in with a sweetened condensed milk, it's going to be an intense, sweet, thick drink, right? And this is an intense, sweet, thick drink. That might be what's going on here. Um, I wonder what it would have been like if they had gone with a traditional coffee flavor rather than a chicory flavor. I like the chicory in this. Um, I just wonder if they were looking at Vietnamese chicory coffee. I don't know. It's good. It's really good. It's it's also a, um, a slow sipper because kind of like a really nice whiskey, which also, despite being the definition of booze, sometimes you'll find a super good whiskey that isn't boozy, um, but you still start feeling it after a few sips. You're like, oh, yeah, that's a lot of alcohol. Um, I'm starting to feel that now. Like, not in here, but the mouth flavor. You kind of, your, your mouth kind of dries out a little bit. Things like that. It's, uh, yeah, it makes me want to drink more. That's just a really good beer. That is an intensely good beer. That is a special beer too. Um, so this is part of the limited 2023 release. This was a part of a six pack of um, of Boulevard barrel aged beers. And it was three different beers. Um, there were two of each, which was nice. So I got to share some with my family and then have some for uh, for recording videos without, without being constrained schedule wise. Um, yeah, so this is a really nice way to enjoy it. It's a good beer. Good beers. Good beers out of Kansas, Boulevard. Keep up the good work. <laughs> I'll keep drinking them. Anyways, this is me drinking and definitely enjoying Boulevard Brewing's Imperial Porter Vietnamese Coffee Inspired. And I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>